beautiful trees, beautiful walkway. We are outside of Cop's store. That is in Polo across the street now. I crossed before him. Now he's stuck there. So how's it going guys? We are here at Cops Food Center to do some shopping. I guess he's coming to get soy sauce or sweet and sour sauce, some some such nonsense. Maybe sushi too, I don't know. And I'm coming to get cereal and that's about it. So today we watched our first episode of Fringe. That was a uh, rather interesting. Seems more like a movie than a TV show. Man, that's just, they had that plot moving quickly. Like in a normal movie, if they said we gotta go get something, you know, like get me his body or get all the chemicals for the lab, they would just cut right to the point where they had the stuff there. Instead of showing them having problems getting it or having to get permission to get it or whatever. You know, just that could have been so much more boring, but they just, they just plowed through that plot. And it was uh, rather impressive, I must say. But kind of after watching the pilot, I'm a little bit confused as to like where the show's going to go. I mean, they pretty much established everything, and they got a big company that can cause people to have like superpowers and weird stuff. But then there's like one person who used to work for the company who was exiled, and he also knows about it. So I guess it's going to become like the exile versus his former company or something like that using, I don't know, Pokemon or something to get what they want, but yeah, so here we are, that's a sewer, I didn't know if you knew that or not, I thought I should inform you at all times, try to be educational in my videos so that there's some value to them, so that when parents watch them, they don't think their kids are just watching total trash, they will see that I pointed the camera at a sewer and said that's a sewer. And they'd be like, oh, good, Johnny's learning what a sewer is. <laughs> so, the, vi the videos are not a total waste of time. So, hooray on that. And, uh, you know, two minutes and 30 seconds so far. I'm going to do better than that. There's a bug. Mayflies. Oh, no, mayflies. Is there really time for that? I drove through three swarms of them yesterday. Oh, no. Down the lake. Well, maybe it's just more than one day then. Then it's, I don't know, I just distinctly remember there's always that one day where there's swarms of them everywhere you go. And you just literally can't get away from it. So, use the force. <clears throat> oh, they're playing that Ghost Town song, which is a rip-off of uh, Good Thing by Bo Vice. See, it's like the exact same thing. Get, tell me where to go, tell me what to lie. If it's a good thing, and it's the exact same thing, I swear to God. Wow. Yummers. No, I'm debating some bacon bits. Salad. Ooh, baby. Fresh fruits out of our 465 a pound. Got some uh, coleslaw, putting stuff there. Pretty good. You know, last time I went to the bakery at Pick and Save, they were like, oh, they were struggling so bad. I don't even know if anybody's at this one. Yeah, I see they're sold out of donuts. Yeah. I worked at this bakery for a week in September of 2005. And those were good times. Yeah, good times those were. Let's see, we got French bread. We always made those. All kinds of stuff. Small Kaiser meat. Garlic bread. Hard roux. Sub buns. Sub buns. Take a dump here on the toilet. Here on the toilet. I gotta stop singing. <clears throat> yeah. Good stuff. Let's see what else we got here. I'm gonna get cake donuts over here. Oh, looks like Impolo is going to get some rotisserie. That sounds good. Yeah. See how much like this bakery is way bigger than the one we had to pick and save. I wish I could go back there and show you around, but I can't because I don't work here. So, <laughs> unfortunately, 
I thought I'd never be saying that. Oh, look at that cake. Oh, that looks so good, man. That looks so freaking good right there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, see a nice big table and everything. Man, they have so much more room at this one than they do at our other store. Just like everywhere. Yeah, those are good times. When I first worked at this store is when I first started playing Dead Awakens. It was all interesting to me. I can't look back then without thinking about that. It was really otherwise a pretty squalid period of my life. But for some reason, there's like certain things you think about and it's like, yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was good. Whatever. You got some chicken fuck. We have to make sure not to buy more than we can carry home. <laughs> oh, my God, it says things on man versus food. Yeah, you're looking at this. Sushi? He's like, oh, I don't know if I can eat at number seven. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there's, this is just crap. I think I'll wait till tomorrow. More like crap. Oh, okay, now I don't want to wait by Paula Cole. There's a big surprise. How about, uh, I don't think there's anything we need there. Jeez. Boy, I think they would have changed the playlist at some point in the last six, well, I've only gone two months, actually. Uh, I'll get some shoes and cheese here. Shoes and cheese. Yeah, that's so stupid. Shoes and cheese. Why did I come up with that? Uh, soy sauce. Oh, yeah. Chicken teriyaki. Oh, what was that I was going to say in a vlog one day? I was going to say that something was really funny. Oh, you know what's funny? It's on 51st Dates. Okay, this is really hilarious, okay? On 51st Dates. And I know you, those of you who haven't seen the movie are going to be like, oh, this is going to be boring. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. But, like, when Adam Sandler's sitting out there pretending to be tied up, and then the guy drives up, and his dad is there, and he's like, yeah, it's okay, move along, and he doesn't realize it's them. Then he looks up and sees that it is them, and that guy is sitting in there, the guy who used to play on Lord of the Rings as a midget, and he's sitting there all... The character he plays in that movie is so hilarious all throughout. And just that one shot, you have to like... You have to see the whole movie to get the full effect of it, but that shot of him in the truck, and he kisses his muscle, and then he has this smile on his face while his face is practically touching his muscles. And it's the exact same smile that I have on my Facebook picture. It's like, <laughs> it's just so funny. And when I see it, I have to laugh my ass off. <sighs> oh, man. Jeez. That was a rather exaggerated breathing in. Black pepper. I don't think I need it. Seabolt. Seabolt. Yeah, Philip Seabolt. Hey, Philip Seabolt, are you out there? I used to go to school with you. My name is Timothy Bishop. Timothy Tishet. I want, wow, um, let me just take a look here. I'll know it when I see it. What kind of cereal do I want? I want chocolate Lucky Charms. Yeah, that's right. Chocolate Lucky Charms. These are good. <laughs> so we dig a little more deeply. <sighs> You're in your anguish again. Stop singing, Tim. Believe me, I know the feeling. It sucks you into the jaws. Okay, we got water. We got Diet Coke. Or, well, no, not really. I was just quoting somebody, me, Molly, or somebody. Uh, well, let's see. Manager on duty. What is that? Looks like a banana peel. Chips. Hips. Hips. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sounds good. Gonna get some root beer or something. I don't know. What do they got? They got any RC in here? I wonder. Used to love that stuff. RC. There's regular RC up here. Yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, damn, tuber. Oh, showing up. Showing up, Hoss. Uh, wow. This camera really debilitates me. <laughs> Maybe we should have got a cart. Nah. Nah, we're good. Chocolate Lucky Charms. 
So because of what's on the right, what's on the left won't get no skinnier. No, not really. Wow. Okay. Well, for the Mountain Dew. Just gotta keep drinking that Mountain Dew. It's actually not the flavor that I picked when we had the test. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the raspberry. I think oh, goodness. The, uh, Two with one hand. That's boss right there. Right, so I roll. We're outside of... Oh, I'm stupid. I just got my nickel. <laughs> Bad luck. Yeah, We're outside of the cop store, and I'm about to scratch my $20 lottery ticket. Yeah, I just bought a $20 lottery ticket because I'm an idiot. And I'm a glutton for punishment, and pretty much every single time I've ever bought a ticket from that thing, it's lost. So, I'm not getting my hopes up for this one either, but, oh, yeah, you never know. 31, 30, and 21. So there's our winning numbers. We've really 30, 31, and 33 are in there. 21, 15, and 5. So let's have a look and see. There's 22. Nope. If the match number is red, you win double the prize. Okay. Gotcha. 39. That's no good. 4. That's no good either. Uh, 25. No. 9. No. No. It's just like on Earthbound when we're trying to. Hey, I just won. 21, okay. Yeah, I got a winning ticket here. How about that? 17, let's see if we got any more. 7. 6. <laughs> so I was just thinking about Earthbound, where we were trying so hard to overcome the odds and get the one of those bat. gutsy bats or whatever, you know, the Sword of Kings, and eventually we did. Oh boy, I tell you. Yeah, looks like that's going to be the only one, but you, you never, never know. know. You never know. Now that we have a winner, might as well complete the swipe and uh, win again, but it doesn't look like it. Nope. 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 So what'd you win? So what did we win? $20. We got our money back. Oh yeah, there you go. whoop de doo Might as well hang on to it. Yeah. There you go. So, alright then. You broke even. Broke even, yeah. Not bad. Stash it in the coat. Yeah. Stash it in my coat. We got Mountain Dew. The RC, we got some RC Cola down there yeah. in the grocery bag. Right on. <laughs> this is going to be a long vlog if I have to record on the way back, right? Yeah. yeah. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah. We'll be fine. We shall be free, as Garth Brooks would say. Uh, I ain't got enough to talk about. Why am I still recording? I don't know. Yeah, we were playing Earthbound all day today, and we got the Sword of Kings, and, and he got the broken antenna from the... Uncontrollable, uncontrollable spears. spears in the Lubine Hall, or the cave just preceding it. But this morning we tried to go for the gutsy bat. We killed about, I guess, what was it, about 30 or 40 bionic krakens. And uh, no luck. But, you know, there's always tomorrow, and the next day, and the day after that, and the day after that. But still, it would be pretty cool to have a physical cartridge with that stuff unlocked on it. Well, I was reading some of the forums too, and they said that some of the other stuff to go for are the uh, magical frying pan, which you get from the Chomposaurus and Lost Underworld. Yep. And the uh, star pendants, which you get from the major psycho, psycho, the psycho, psychos. Yeah, that's and, right. Uh, the star pendants are actually the strongest, like, body armor. Nice. It protects against uh, freeze, fire, uh, flash, and Damn. something else. Probably numbness or something Probably, like that. Probably, yeah, or diamondized. Yeah, so. I don't think any of us got diamondized in that whole playthrough. I, I think I did while you were out. Oh. But I just healed it right away with the gamma. Yep. So. so that's the latest adventure of our Earthbound craze. Uh, we played for what, four days? Three days, I think. Three days? And we're already done? Yep. Yeah, that's the only thing that sucks about the Gutsy Dad is you can't get it until after you're at a point where you can't go back. So, and so. I was even reading on the forums too that a lot of people said by that point you're already strong enough that it really doesn't make a huge difference. Yeah. So. Critical hit, 800 damage, whoop de do. Yeah. What are you going to use that on Gagas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. But I would like to try to go back and find the shield killer. Yeah. Whatever happened to that? That would be good. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go and turn this off. So, take care, and see you next time.